In today's YouTube tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this Chrome extension with one prompt in ChatGPT and absolutely no coding experience needed. The extension works as a template inputter for ChatGPT. So when you click on YouTube, there's all these different prompts that I like to use. So let's say I want to do the tags prompt. And as you can see, it instantly puts in the tags prompt that I constantly use for my YouTube videos. And it gives me that template. So it's like for context, you're a YouTuber who wants to rank high in the search engine. And then all I have to do now is just change the parameters like my YouTube description. So I'll type in whatever my YouTube description. So that was the idea I had for the Chrome extension that I created. And it honestly took no time at all. It literally took me one prompt. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video. But just to show you a bit more of this extension I made, there's all these different prompts. And then I also made drop downs for different social media platforms. And yeah, I think it's a pretty cool idea. I'll also have the link to down below if you're curious or want to download the Chrome extension that I made. But let's get into how you can actually make your very own Chrome extension. So we're going to try and make something completely different for today's tutorial. So let's get started in ChatGPT. The first thing we want to do is give ChatGPT all the information for the Chrome extension that we want to create. In today's video, the Chrome extension I think I want to create is a like highlighter Chrome extension. So when you press a button, it highlights certain words on a web page. So I'm going to give ChatGPT this very basic prompt. I want to create a Chrome extension that highlights all the words on a web page that have the words AI or ChatGPT with a yellow highlight after I click a button that says highlight and bam, it is already giving us the code. Now the program I'm going to be using to basically manage all these files is going to be Visual Studio Code. I'll have the link down below to download this program. It is completely free and it's a very easy to use file manager. Alrighty, so as you can see, Chat ChatGPT has giving us a manifest JSON file. So we're going to copy that, go to Visual Studio Code, go to File, New Text File, paste in that code. And then we just want to save it the exact way that ChatGPT is clarifying us to save it as. So we're going to save it as manifest.json. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and make a new folder called YouTube Tutorial. And then I'm going to save it as manifest.json. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the next piece of code that it gives us, this time the popup.html. Once again, file, new text file, paste in, save as, and then popup.html. So we're just going to keep on doing this, the pop-up script. So popup.js. So go to file, new text file, paste that in, save as, popup.js. And then finally, the content.js. So we're going to go file, new text file, paste in, save as, content.js. Perfect. All of our files should be saved now. Now something, if you want to do, you could go through your manifest file and actually change what the name of the Chrome extension is going to be called. So right now it's called AI and chat GPT highlighter. I'm going to keep it the same. You can also change the version to literally whatever you want. You can make it 42. I have no idea. We're just going to keep it at 1.0 and then the description, just describe what your Chrome extension is going to be about. You are going to need to have some type of logo. So I'm just going to create a logo right now quickly in now.ai. But if you have mid journey, it's basically the same thing. So I'm going to say logo for highlighter brand. So we'll see what now AI gives us and we're just going to run with it. Alrighty. So here we have our logo. Not sure how I feel about it, but don't really care. So we're going to save it and I'm going to make sure the file was saved into the same folder that the rest of our Chrome extension files are in. And then I'm just going to call it logo.png and I'm going to make sure that the icon is the same. So it was actually icon png but i'm going to change that out so it's now logo.png now it did state that we may run into errors because it's on manifest v2 right now and manifest v3 is out currently and i did run into errors with my last extension so let's see if that happens again so the way you can actually upload your extensions is simply go to chrome extensions like you see at the top you want to make sure developer mode is turned on and with developer mode turned on what you can do is just drag your folder into the extensions tab. And as you can see, we now have AI and chat GPT highlighter extension. We're already receiving errors without the program running. So let's see what those errors are. And yes, it is the manifest version. So I assume we're going to run into an error when we try running this extension, but let's try anyways. So here I just have some random blog that definitely has chat GPT and AI 
AI in it. So let's see if the highlighter works. So we're going to go to our extensions here and then we're going to go to AI and chat GPT highlighter and we're going to click highlight and bam, our Chrome extension works despite having that error. It doesn't seem to be impacting our extension at all. And yeah, that is how you guys make a Chrome extension. It is honestly that easy. Now, this is just a basic basic tutorial and there's way more advanced things you can make with your chrome extension but i just wanted to show the ideation of it all with chat gpt and now if you wanted to actually upload and deploy your chrome extension i'll show you how to do that so you'll need to go to the developer dashboard of the chrome web store you're gonna have to agree to all of their privacy policies and then you're gonna have to pay a five dollar registration fee in order to put up any type of chrome extension don't worry you only have to to pay this once and then you can add as many chrome extensions online as possible it's also important to note if you only plan on using the chrome extension for yourself you don't have to do this step and you can keep using your chrome extension without uploading it ever to the internet so i'm just going to purchase this for the sake of the video so make sure to leave a like and subscribe as my five dollars is going down the drain Alrighty, so we just made the purchase and now we can go to our developer dashboard when i ask you if it's a non-trader or trader account just go non-trader and we are going to save and you can always change that status at any time. So we're going to go to our dashboard Then we're going to go to items at the top here. And then you want to go to new item. You want to make sure that your folder is zipped up. So you can do this by right clicking on it and going to send to compressed zip folder. Then we're going to drag that zip folder in. And once our zip folder is uploaded, we can now create our description for the Chrome extension. Try and make your description have as many like SEO keywords words within it, but also describe what it does. So here's my description. I'm going to add in a category. I'm just going to make this category social and communication. For the language, obviously we're going to do English. Now you have to add in your icon. So this is that logo I was talking about earlier. However, it does need to be 128 by 128 pixels. So you're probably going to have to reduce that size. Now you need a screenshot of your extension working in progress. And you could also add a YouTube url showcasing how it works so i'm not going to do the youtube part right now as it's not mandatory however you do need to have at least one screenshot of your chrome extension in work so here i just have the creator prompts chrome extension working and we're just going to do a screenshot with the snipping tool which should be on your computer already you won't have to download that i'm going to upload that capture that we just got i'm just realizing now it actually has to be a certain image size so we're going to have to adjust our image right now I'm just going to do that in Photoshop very quick. Lastly, you can add in any of your website URLs. However, you can change all of this stuff in the future. So I'm not going to add any of that for right now. Now we're just going to save the draft. And the next thing to do would be to submit it. However, there is a lot more that goes into submitting for a review. We're not even eligible to submit for a review because you have to add so many more things to your Chrome extension. So I'm going to click why can't I submit? And it actually gives you a full list of all the things that's currently missing within your Chrome extension. We're going to go to the top and then go to privacy practices. And here we're going to input the missing information. Now, the next thing is going to ask for justifications and permissions. The way you can find this is by going to your manifest file. And then here you can see the permissions right here. We have active tab and scripting. And then for the host permissions, you can see our only host permission right now is just chat GPT. We're going to copy that and paste it in here and then you have to justify why you actually need permission so we're just going to say our extension works on this website i have no idea if this is enough of a justification as our program is very simple so i can't see it being held up for review but who knows i just finished the other ones off by saying in order to work then are you using remote code but no you're not using any remote code this is important. Any data usage, obviously, if you're collecting data, clarify that you are. But I do recommend just not collecting data unless you are really serious about this Chrome extension. And then you want to check off all of these boxes here that basically say you're not going to use anyone's data in any case at all. Now, in distribution, you can choose where you want to distribute the Chrome extensions. You can choose if you want to not include it in one country or whatever. And if you want to make it public, unlisted, private, as well as if you're going to charge 
charge for your extension. The last thing we need to do is actually verify our account. So we're going to go to the main menu hamburger at the top left and hit account. I'm actually going to change my publisher display name and then I'm going to go to add contact email address and I'm going to put in my email address. Alrighty, so I just went to my email, confirmed it, and now we are verified. And bam, the ability to submit for review is now there. So we're going to select submit for review. And now it's just a waiting game of waiting for our Chrome extension to get accepted and it will be live online where other users can use it and play around with the extension. So hopefully it gets accepted soon and I can include it in the description of this video, but I hope you enjoyed this thorough step-by-step -step process on how to create your own Chrome extension using ChatGPT and then how to actually deploy it on the Chrome web store. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and have yourselves a fantastic day.